Well, <coughs> this is something a little bit different. <coughs> this is a plastic snap together kit uh, made by Academy and it's of a beam engined water pump. Now, uh, several uh, guys who are on the Office of Steam forum, and I'll put a link in the description to that. If you're interested in model steam engines, that's a great place to go and hang out, talk to like-minded people, a great bunch of people on there. They built these and they've had these, uh, though it's only a plastic kit, they've actually had them powered quite successfully from small model steam engines and even sterling engines. And it, it's, 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 it's quite a nice kit and it is strong enough to actually withstand that kind of, uh, that kind of use. Now, I've been thinking about uh, building a, another steam engine accessory, something that I can use to, to drive uh, from either steam engines or even gasoline engines like the Whippet engine. So I thought, right, well, I'll see if I can get hold of one of these. These are quite old now and they're not quite as easy to get hold of. I found this one on eBay and uh, it's complete, but it, the parts have been taken off of the sprues. I'll just take the lid off. So as you can see, there aren't that many pieces. We just take the take the sprues out. There's there's not much to it. There's it's, it's quite, hardly any pieces at all. It shouldn't, in theory, take too long to put together. Um, and it's you know it's all there. The uh, the piston uh, and cylinder. The very interesting design. So there's a cylinder, and there's a hole in the base and a rubber sealing ring, and that connects via a tube to the water reservoir. Now, the piston, very interesting design this, and it's very simple but straightforward. The piston consists of two discs and, a, as you can see, a fairly loose rubber O-ring. Now, the bottom disc is um, just a disc, and the top disc, that's, that's just a cap that goes in the top of the center, and the top disc, I think, as you can see, has holes in it. So, the top and bottom discs are a loose fit in this cylinder. So water can flow around the edges of those discs. Obviously the uh, rubber O-ring is a tight, if I can get it, get it in place, uh, is a fairly tight fit in the cylinder. Go in you little bugger. There we go, right. So this is how uh, I believe it works. Basically, if you start off with a completely empty cylinder, on the upstroke, so it would obviously if it's gonna be mad like this, on the upstroke, as you pull this up, the rubber O-ring seals around the bottom disc, creating a vacuum, and that will draw water in from the bottom, okay, up to this point. I think the stroke's only about there. Then, when you push down, the rubber O-ring moves up, allowing the water to flow around the bottom disc and out through the holes in the top disc, therefore putting water into this top part of the cylinder. When you then pull the, the piston back up, it seals again on the bottom, that stops any water on the top getting through to the bottom, and it sucks more water up from the bottom and pushes the water that's on the top out through this hole, like so. So very, very simple design, very, very simple and very effective. So, so I am gonna build this. Uh, according to the box, it says here eight plus. Uh, well, I haven't been eight for a very, very long time, but I'm fairly certain I could probably manage that with a little bit of a struggle. But also, looking at this, I thought it would be quite a nice idea to attempt to build one of these, but out of metal parts, so it's much more robust. And as I said, there's not an awful lot to it, so I haven't quite worked out yet how I'm going to do certain parts of it, but, you know, that's the plan.
Well, here we go. Well, that works remarkably well. I'll close in on the uh, cylinder so you can have a look at the, the little, there's a non-return valve in the, in the base too, which, which is, is popping up and down. So let's come in on that a bit. Little tiny domed non-return valve just about there. Just about to see that. Yeah, it works very well. Yeah, so as St Paul Steam said, it, this thing, uh, whole thing works a lot better if you screw it down onto a base. And this particularly here, the, the, the end mount for the crank wheel, this is very flexible and it moves around a lot. So he actually screwed this bit down and, and improved it, no end. But yeah, it works fine. I mean, you know, as a pump, it's working, no problem. So I've got my Stuart Turner 10H connected up to the water pump. Um, good opportunity and excuse to run the Stuart Turner, which I love running it. It's a fantastic steam engine. I've done all the mods that St. Paul Steam suggested with the, regards to the water pump. It is screwed firmly down onto a wooden base, as is the supports. The support, this side support for the crank is screwed down to the actual base, and this is screwed down to the actual base, the support on the other side. Um, so yeah, hopefully um, we should, not really sure how what gearing I'm gonna need. I can control, I have a regulator on the Stuart Turner, so I can control um, uh, RPM, uh, but it may be better on the smaller pulley. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. It's a bit of a large boiler, so it does take a while to build up steam. Oh, we've got some pressure. Let's see if it will run the pump. That's about 15 psi, no problem at all from the old Stuart Turner. It's probably a bit too fast. Let's uh, move it around a bit. Bags of steam coming out of the smokestack, lovely. Now it runs it very well. I mean, I've, I've got the thing. Oh, <laughs> probably got it down, turned down a little bit too much. Let's give it a little bit more steam. There we go. I, I really like that little pump. I mean, it, it, it doesn't cost very much. Very easy to put together. Uh, a few mods you can really. Um, Make it much better, make it more rigid. Yeah, works a treat. Okay, I've rejigged it and I've moved it a little bit. So we've got it on the smallest diameter part of the pulley. And we're back up to pressure again, so let's give it a go. Yeah, there we go, that's better. Run the engine faster, but keep the pump moving slowly. So. Ah, oh, it works a treat. The uh, the old Stuart Turner's fairly quiet. They are lovely, lovely engines. If you're lucky enough to have one of these, or any of the Stuart Turners, they're brilliant. So there we go, steam pumping water. Get 
give it a bit more juice. Lovely job. So I have to say overall I'm well pleased with that little pump. It does exactly what it's supposed to do and uh, obviously you can quite easily drive it from a steam engine. I think you need a reasonably powerful steam engine. There's quite a bit of resistance in the piston uh, but works a treat. Okay that's about it for the little uh, plastic uh, water pump kit from, from Academy. Under steam. Absolutely brilliant. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.